right, we are on our way to Tractor Supply to get some chickity chick chicks. I'm so excited. We were planning to order chicks online on MyPetChicken.com because that's where we got the Golden Girls from. However, we went to pick up some dog food from Tractor Supply today and they had Easter Eggers and Mama got giddy. And so we asked a friend who also wants chicks because we don't want six and you, they do have a policy of to buy six at a time. So. We asked a friend if they were ready to get chicks yet because we would go in have these and they said yes. They asked us if we could foster until they're old enough to go up um, until they're old enough to go outside and of course we are. <laughs> so we'll have three little foster chicks until their owner has their outdoor um, set up all set up <laughs> and um, That'll be about the time that they go outside to live with the Golden Girls. We have names picked out already because we are lovers of the Beatles. We chose three names that are in reference to the Beatles. So we're going to name them Lucy, Lennon, and Molly. So there's also an L theme in there too. I love the letter L. <laughs> I have no idea why. There's no method to that madness. I just love it. So. Here we go, we're on our way to get some checks. Eli's super excited. <laughs> That's how excited Eli gets about anything. Just kidding. Nora, are you excited to get some chicks? No. Chicks are here. I don't know if you can see that sign, but that's what it said. Here we come, chickadees. They don't even know we're buying them. They will know soon enough. Elliot, are you excited? Ah. Nora, are you excited? Nobody's excited. They're more excited to go and sit on the tractors. <laughs> Get some chicks. These are the ones we're getting, guys. Can we, why can't we get them now? We are. Then how do you open them? We have to ask for assistance. Okay, look at the different breeds. Oh, that's Rhode Island White. It was yeah. the Jersey Giant. Those are straight ones, which means <laughs> you don't know what you're getting. One, they're Jersey males Giants and females. <laughs> no, they're going to be big. Giants. Mom, <laughs> look! There's more than that. Jersey Giants are cute. Whoa, look at these. Isa Browns are getting excitable. No, it's over here. Can we just get the assistant? Um, they're busy, but as soon as they're ready. Why does this keep... Google it. I didn't look into Jersey Giants, so I don't know. Please don't touch. Those are bantams, which means they're really tiny. Whoa, there's even more in there than there was before. What are these ones? They're called bantams. So that's just the size of them. They're just a lot smaller. Chicky chickies. 
They're so cute. Which ones are we getting? That one. That one right there? That's very They're specific. <laughs> They're so cute. <laughs> we already have four of them. No way, really? We love them. <laughs> All right, which one were you looking at, sweetie? Which one do you want, Nora? That one that's that feisty, one? <laughs> the excitable one. Oh, make it, get her all the fast ones, right? <laughs> make her work for her money. Which one else, Nora? You have to pick six of them. Elliot, you want to pick one? You want all Easter eggers? Yeah. I think so. You yeah. want all Easter eggers? Probably, unless you think you should get one of the other ones. Huh? Well, Smile. those are a straight <laughs> run, too. So you only ones that are Isa definite. Browns Isa Browns. Jersey Giants and the Royal Island Whites, like, White, which I don't know anything. I didn't research those breeds, Mom, so I can't like speak this. to them. Sorry, how many do you have in there? I mean, they're all looking pretty healthy and frisky. If there was one that looked like, you know, docile, we would probably Maybe not want that. Some that are a little bit different. Yeah. Yeah. Which one? All right. There's like a couple over here that have like very distinct like stripes on their back. We only want Easter eggs. But remember, when they grow up, they're not going to look like that. We already have some more. Okay. We have. Do you, do you want to pick a different one? All right. I think he wants one that's one got. It's like super, super dark striped. right there. Yeah. yeah. How many do you have in there? This guy that's like all the way in the end right there. Right there where your hand is. Or either one of those is fine. Either one of them. Yeah. They look kind of like chipmunks. <laughs> Elliot, no thank you. <laughs> Elliot, you cannot open that. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, one, two, three, four. Somebody else jumped out. <laughs> Come here. Come here. Okay. Yay. Okay. They're going to like the Golden Girls, six. huh? Okay. <laughs> Are they going to like the Golden Girls, Nora? Close it, bud. She did not ask for help. When she gets over there, you can help her out if she lets you. There you go. You got two it. hands, two hands. Hold the handle so it doesn't drop. Hold the handle. I don't want to hold them. Okay. <laughs> Do not open it right now because they'll jump out. We'll open them at home when we're ready to put them in their little home. Can you see them? Adorable. They are adorable. <laughs> don't put them on their side. No. Okay. Stop, stop, stop. Those are living things. Come back here. You're not allowed to carry them across the store, okay? Mommy's going to carry them. Can you look in the hole? You see them in there? No, but it's too dark. It's too dark? They have an alarm. Those are, Elliot. Oh, Let's go. Here. Yeah. Hold it like that. Two hands. And look up at mommy. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, this is very nerve wracking. Nora has the babies. Yeah. You have to hold on really tight because if you drop them, it can their legs can break. Let's go. Elliot, be careful. Come here. Go straight. Okay, he's stuck on the line. All right. It's an exciting day. Getting our little chickadees. All right, come up to the other side. Careful. Hold on tight, Nora. Go on and walk, Nora. Be very careful. Don't drop the chicks. Chickens. All right, put them up on the counter. Put them on the counter. No, no, no. Two hands. Two hands. Good job, Nora. I will do the two All right, Daddy. Or Nora already did. Thank you. So
careful. Big steps over here, okay? Don't stir up the chickies. Are you happy? Yeah, there's a motorcycle. You're okay. You're safe. We're not in the street. We're still in the store. Okay, hold mommy's. Okay. Can mommy help you hold the chickens as we pass the street? You're not going to sit in your seat. Okay, Mommy will hold them. Why? Why not we sit in my seat? Because they're not safe. Here, let, have her hold it. Okay, like checking on the chicks. Make sure they're all in here. Before we take off, we got one. Oh, don't crush her. Two. Whoops. Okay, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Look how cute they are. Yep. You see them? Oh, yeah, they're so cute. cute. Oh my gosh, they're adorable. Did you see them, Nora? You want to see them? All right, well, I was getting their brooder all set up and cleaned up because it's been out in the garage for about six months. We put them in this bigger box, just in an Amazon box, to keep them happy and safe. Three of them we are keeping, and three of them are going to Eli's friend, so we are going to foster them until they're old enough to go outside. I'm going to show you how... We set up their brooder and how you can um, take care of chickens too. Alright, we just got home with the chickens and we're setting up their brooder. Um, I highly recommend shopping for supplies in the off season because I got this incubation, it's called Brinsey, it's probably said it wrong, but B-R-I-N-S-E-A, Incubation Specialists, Eco Glow 20. And this thing is awesome because the chickens, it's a heat source, so you don't have to use the heat lamp, which can cause fires and burns, and it can hurt your little chickadees. Um, a lot of people raise them with that successfully, and I have nothing against it. We actually initially planned on using a heat lamp, but then I came across this beauty on clearance for, I think, 75% off. It was amazing. <laughs> And so the chickens the actually go underneath it. They go under here just like they would go under their mama. And there's a heat source under here. You just put it in. And as they get older, their slots, it goes up higher according to how hot they need it to be. You'll know if they're too hot, if they're avoiding the heat. Um, or you'll know if it's too cool if they're staying on there too long or too much. So you have to pay attention to your little chickadees and their behaviors. Um, what we use for our brooder is a just a cage for a small animal. This one's made by KT. Um, I really like it because it has an opening up here and it also has an opening right here. So you can access it both ways, whether you want to just get a chicken out or if you're adding their food and water. Um, while they're little babies, we do a very simple setup. Um, we have pine shavings in here, and then this is their water. And you can add electrolytes to it when they're little, especially. Um, and you can also add apple cider vinegar. And then this is their food. We use Demore Chick Starter. We get the unmedicated kind. And I already put some in their cute little feeders. I love these feeders. I just bought the bases on Amazon. And then you can use mason jars. So that's what their water is. And then this is their feeder. And you just go like this. And they eat out of the little 
poles, you always have to keep checking on them because they will kick the bedding into it, so you just want to keep it clean. Once they get a little bit older, we raise it up and put it on like a bin with a ramp so that they can get into it that way and it keeps the bedding out of the food and water. But while they're so little, we don't do that. And I have not plugged this in. Now we're going to add the cute little chickies. This is a really good size cage for them too. All right, these are our cute little Easter eggers. We wanted to get Easter eggers because they lay different colored um, eggs. These are all supposed to be pullets. Pullets are the females. They all have really cool markings. I have no idea what they're gonna grow up to look like. This Easter eggers is kind of a broad kind of name for any kind of chicken that will lay different colored eggs. They could lay blues, greens, or pinks, and any variation in between. Hopefully we'll get one that has a really pretty teal color. But as soon as they start laying, that's when you know what color egg they're going to lay, and then their whole lives they're going to lay that same color. So here's one. We have not chosen which ones are ours and which ones will be going to their permanent home. Here's another one. I really like these because they kind of look like chipmunks with their markings. This one you can't tell, but it's got really pretty colors, different shades of browns. And you go, little lady. Alright, look at this one. This one looks like a chipmunk. Look at those beautiful, beautiful markings. They are so cute. I'm really excited to see what they look like when they grow up. Fortunately, they all fall asleep right when I'm ready to put them in their home. And their new brooder. That one is just a lot of light browns. And you can see they're already starting to get some of their feathers. So these are not brand new little peepers. They have the fluff, and then they have some feathers. See that? Look at that wing. It's beautiful. And you guys, if you, like I've said in my other videos, if you have never petted a chicken, make sure you do it. As adults, they are so soft. Here's another one that looks like a chipmunk. Look at these, oh my gosh. Look at these feathers. These are gonna be beautiful, beautiful birds. I'd say they're at least a week or two old. Uh -oh. You know the funny thing about chickens is they will trick you. When they sleep, they look dead. I don't know if you guys just saw what this one looked like, but I got a little scared. That's why I said, uh-oh. Because that one's already got some of it fe its feathers. And look, all the different browns. You guys are going to be so pretty when you grow up. And then you want to take each one. They've been in a cage already. They're not day old chicks like what we got last time. So when we had day old chicks, we had to really introduce them to the water source. So you would take them and you would dip their beak into it so they would know to go there for their water. You don't have to do that with them because they've already been in a brooder at Tractor Supply, which is where we bought them from. So they already know how to eat and drink, but you will definitely want to, when you first get day old chicks, introduce them to the water source. Welcome home, little chicks. Big man with a tiny peeper. The light's behind him, so her. Hey, peep peeper. You gotta check their butts for something called pasty butt, too. So that's part of chick upkeep. You wanna check on them a lot. That's a healthy butt. That's a healthy butt. Uh oh. Let me see. But yeah, her butt's fine. You just look for cleanliness. When you look for pasty butt, ah! It's like. 
you're looking to see if they have any poop pasting up their butt. That's a good looking butt, girl. They're not afraid of being held. They must have held them a lot in, at the tractor supply or something. I love this breed because they look like little chipmunks. They're so cute. Oh, bye-bye. I was saying bye-bye to the one that just jumped out of my hand. Come here. Do you have a pasty butt? <gasps> no, you have a good looking butt too. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, that was not a safe choice. Hey, Peeper. I'm not going to be running around on my carpet. This is not going to be your permanent home. We're going to put you in a different room. They're so down and soft, you guys. Want some food? Have you tried the food yet? It's pretty good. All right, who haven't we held? Yeah. Does that look big? Yeah, that's what I was saying. I don't remember their food looking like that. Before we had like the crumbles, not boats. Did we buy the wrong thing? Maybe that's why you're not eating. Maybe we should go back to the store. Where's the bag of food? Behind you. Behind you. Behind you. Whoa, where are you going? Where are you going, Peeper? Where are you going, little Peeper? Whoop. Did you check all of them for their pasty butts? I don't know which ones you checked. Did you check, did you have any of the striped ones? I had, my first one I picked up was a striped <laughs> one. <laughs> I don't know which one that was, though. I had one of the striped ones and one of the dark ones. I picked up the light one. Good girl. Okay, see, I was worried you guys weren't going for the water and food, but I saw you just did that. What are you guys looking for? You guys think that there's some... All right, we're just going to double put them over here. Whoops. Oh, sorry. I'm just checking your little booties. Quick paste butt boot. Oh, that's a healthy looking booty. Alright, 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 alright. Oh, oh, oh. Don't do that. I'm sorry. No, you can't go back over. I'm not going to remember. Good girls. Come here, come here, come here. Okay, you're feisty. See that one? There's a little bit of dirtiness back there. I'm going to clean her butt up. You going to get cleaned up? Oh, they're eating. Oh, good girls. We're cleaning out this little chick's vent batters because we think she has the beginnings of pasty butt. What you need is to make your water warm. You do not want to make them cold. Ever. And just gently clean it under there and wipe. And then don't do it tight hard because you don't want to pull out any of your little feathers. And I was supposed to wear gloves, so. I'm exposing myself to something yucky right now. You're supposed to ignore their little cheeks. It looks a lot better. That's a nice clean butt. Now the next thing you want to do is blow dry her so that she doesn't look different from the other chicks because they will peck at her if they think there's something wrong with her.
chicks will see that and they will peck at her but you also don't want her to look all wet and disheveled because they'll think there's something different and wrong about her too if she had any redness or anything you would put some vaseline back there but she doesn't again. <laughs> Alright, that's a healthy bum, and she's ready to be returned to her home with the other chicks. Really important to fold them every day. Wow, this one got a lot of feathers. Look at this one. Whoa. Crazy. <laughs> 